Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This is the world according to Lanza and I am Andrew Lanza and tonight is January 7th, 2024. Happy New Year everybody. I hope you guys have a great week. Happy birthday, Nicolas Cage. Randomness, randomness. I'm in a good mood. My Raiders won the last game of the season and tonight was the Golden Globes 2024 and there was a joke that Taylor Swift looked like she was a little bit upset so but she was laughing at other ones blah 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 drama 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 but anyways I thought I'll just pop up here and make a really fast video just gonna go through um, some of the winners tonight and tell you what I thought um, I thought the award show overall was fun I was like Golden Globes are always fun look I'm a diehard for award shows and unless they're totally just like boring a lot of people like a controversy there was, wasn't too much controversy tonight so out of the controversy scale not too much uh it was this one of this tonight's show was one of the more cleaner um shows i've seen in a long time not a lot of drama except for that whole taylor swift oh it was like something about uh the the, the show came on after the nfl double header and they show her less or more at the golden globes or less at the golden globes than to do at the nfl ha ha i mean it might be the i mean i mean the point is people are people who people i think people really worship worship to swift and maybe not in the best way she's the queen i like her i like taylor swift I like about six of her songs i want to say i'm swifty not a hater definitely not a hater but um regarding um you know geez her dating travis kelsey and all me being a raider fan sometimes it seems like she can't take a joke but maybe she did maybe she did maybe she just didn't uh because that was like she's sipping 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 drink and she looked like a little son well let's stun anyway let's go through some of the winners real fast um could, you know the golden globes as i said before is like the kickoff to award season, kickoff to award season 2024. And um, some of the big winners, Oppenheimer won big picture. Um, Oppenheimer won. Poor Things won. Um, Charlie Murphy was a big winner tonight. Emma Stone was a big winner tonight. Paul Giamatti. Um, Christopher Nolan, my boy Christopher Nolan, and Oppenheimer. The Bear for TV. Ooh, uh, Kieran Culkin won. And there is Jeremy Allen White, Ali Wrong for Beef, Steve Ewan for Beef. Hey, hey, oh, Ricky Gervais, Ricky Gervais, the controversial, um, non politically, unpolitically correct. Ricky Gervais, the guy he likes to. Poke fun of Hollywood a little bit, a little pokey pokey, poke fun of Hollywood. He won tonight, and a lot of people think he will win because people love when he's host hosting, especially some of the. Uh, he tends to make fun of the liberals a little bit, even though he is liberal. Um, he's more edgier, and some people think that he will boost the ratings. Um, a lot of people like him. Uh, it's hard to please everybody. I kind of don't, I, I'm, I have a weird, I have lots of opinions and everything, so, uh, um, but my video is totally freezing, I don't even know if I'm talking, uh, 
lots of moe champagne like there is every year and killers of the flower moon didn't win it won one for the main actress so it looks like barbie kills the flower moon and oppenheimer or films to watch out for and poor things or films to uh, be uh, have a deep run in the award season of 2024. Oppenheimer was amazing. Barbie was fun. I haven't seen Killers of the Flower Moon yet. I'm still reading the book. And anyways, <laughs> yeah, Taylor Swift airs the, the best pictures. They had like a new category that was called Seminaga Box Office Achievement. Barbie won that. So yeah, it was overall a fast show because I felt like they had a joke, they give out a award. They had a joke, they give out a award. They had a joke, they give out a award. And quite frankly, I honestly thought it was very tame. Um, there was some funny moments, and it wasn't over the top. There wasn't too much dancing. There wasn't too much. There was no musical performances. Golden Globes don't mess around with musical performances. Um, I actually think that's a, a good thing in consideration of, you know, sometimes you have too many. You don't want to turn the Golden Globes into the Grammys for too much performances. So, um, I thought the host did, I think the internet's going to go wild with Taylor Swift people, man, it's, it's the, maybe it's the truth, maybe there's some truth to the saying that we are as sensitive, um, on all sides, all sides of the spectrum, left, right, ultra left, ultra everything, maybe myself, no violence, no nothing. It was over all a uh, I would give it a B plus. I mean, it's maybe not like the I actually um I I, I kind of like um the earlier Ricky Gervais um um things, but I like um who do I like? Uh, Amy Poehler does a good job. Um. Um. Chris Rock always always does a good job. So, yeah, but this is uh, not, I guess it's not quite, um, because we, Golden Globes are like the NASCAR, you know, the big race in front, and then the little races in the middle, and then the big bang, the big one is in March 10th, is the Oscars, so, that is uh, how the Golden Globes work, you kind of have the big award at the beginning, you have the SAGs in between, and, and then the, then you have the um, Spirit Awards, and the Grammys, and the Emmys, all kind of like in the middle of February, and then in March 10th, you ended off the season with the big Super Bowl winner, the big winner of the movies, the best picture year, which I collect every year. I used to collect all of them. Um, um, Oscar movies. I still do. You know, some of them, oh, well, some of them are better than others. A lot of, uh, some of the artistic ones are hard to watch, but there has been a few of, of global, um, ones that have been seen by everybody. Of course, we all know Barbie Heimer. I think that was a wonderful thing this year because it took a male and a female audience and it kind of mixed them together or by social old social norms films that are girly or films that are manly history and and social commentary so barbie and oppenheimer were great session i still need to get back into that show as a tv show only murders in rent, rent building oh by the way it's a good picture of when the uh taylor swift got uh insulted i guess when I told her, she was drinking like this. She was like, oop, took a drink, oop. And she had like a little flask of wine. Uh, I guess you can't make fun of Taylor Swift. 
who knows? And then in the sense, it seems like she was laughing. You know, the problem could be hot take, not Hollywood's. This is not Hollywood's problem. This is not a right or a left problem. This could be you. This could be the society's problem. Maybe this is society's problem is bigger than the media's problem. Yes, there's a media problem, but maybe society has a bigger problem than um, culture wars. Culture wars could be made up by random people on the internet. This could be an internet problem. Anyways, man, all I gotta say, Taylor Swift fans, you're lucky that Wicked Gervais wasn't there. He, and he won, and he won. And I'm not saying, you know, I agree with everything. Look, I defended, well, I like the, the Oscars, even though Will Smith, I don't promote violence, but yeah, that was not a good moment, obviously. But like, I continued to like, take out that moment I was trying to put, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. That was a big controversy. Oh, about jokes, uh, blah, blah, blah. People, anyway, that's a, I'm just rambling a little bit. Raiders won. Um, in my opinion, great, uh, fun show. I, I got some feedback this year. I actually saw some of my other friends uh, posting about it as well. I what did it sound like a lone wolf tonight? And um, as a movie fan and a person who loves cinema, TV and otherwise, and art, I remember cinema is both art and entertain, art and entertain, both or separate, and it's okay for movies to be political. It's just if you're going to go political in film. You have to be able to take the consequences. And maybe that's the thing that we don't understand in society. That you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Everybody has to be proven that. I have to be proven that. Andrew Lanza sometimes can dish it out and sometimes can't take it. But I try. Or I try to get better. I'm just a human being. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, that's my commentary of the Golden Globes tonight. A uh, very festive um, event. Lots of festive. I like. I mean, it's, it is more of a party than the um, Oscars. Oscars are a party afterwards. It's a big shebang, but I feel like there's a dinner. I don't know. Regardless of what you feel about the Golden Globes, you most people will say, "Man, the Golden Globes serve more weight." Champagne, this is not more like champagne because that's way too expensive. But, um, yeah, congratulations to all the winners tonight, and I'm excited to do my bracket this year and my chart. And I hope you guys have a fun time celebrating 2023's best films. With me, Andrew Lanza, and I will see you on the next occasion of The World According to Lanza. I am Andrew Lanza, and I wish you and everybody in your family and your friends a good night, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.